sitting, sitting side seeing you. Two, two. It feels like five, yeah, it does. <laughs> so I brought with me today a beach, a beach ball. And I thought we could play a little bit of a game. Did you guys sleep in the camper last night? Volleyball? Are you gonna are you going to today? Mm -hmm. Oh right. Well, no, it's called it's a game called I Choose You. So I want you to go out in the grass and make a circle. You can't take snacks out there. So leave your snacks here. Okay? Make a big circle. Apple pie or your favorite kind of pie. Mason, what's your favorite kind of pie that mommy makes? Mixed berry. This is a mixed berry pie because you're a mixed bunch of berries. Slide back. Slide back. Slide back. Okay, come around. Circle is round. Circle is round, not oval like an egg. It's an egg. Here. I'm so scared. I know. You're supposed to hold hands and then back up. Huh? Hold hands and then back up. Okay, hold no. hands and back up, Miss Wendy says. So you guys back up. Jack, take a step back. Okay. There, you go. there we go. Drop hands. Okay. You're going to have to put your glasses down there, sir. Put them on your hat. There you go. That way. That works. Okay. So this game is called I Choose You. And when I throw the ball to you, I'm going to give you a job or a chore or something to do. Okay? Are you all ready? Yeah. Mm. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you can't pass it off. That's not playing the game. Okay, Jack, you have to spin around five times with your ha hand on your fist like that. Throw me back the ball. With your hand on the fist? With your head on your fist. <laughs> I got counted. That's probably five. That was close. That's that was right. Three. Are y'all paying attention? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's somebody funny. get it. That's oh. funny. Okay. I don't want to eat I don't want to Carmi, I need you to run around. Mm, step in a little bit, guys. Girls. Run around the circle three times. One, two, three, go. Ooh, be careful on the gravel. One. Two. Not yet. Two. One more. Three. Way to go. You did it. She thought she was playing baseball. Touchdown. Touchdown. Softball. Yeah, she did. Let's see. Michaela, are you ready? This might be coming to you. You got to get it. Go get it. Anna has it. Okay, Anna, here, you do this one for me. Okay, count from one to five. Can you do that? Awesome. Good. Awesome. Five Way five to go. One to five okay. Let's see. Oh. oh. I don't want it. I don't want it. That's for there you go. Okay. Ugly. Okay, okay girl, give it back to Auntie. No, I got it. Josh one. Josh one. Hand it over to Xander. Hey, Josh one has it. Okay, Oakley. I need you to jump up and down. Four times. Six, One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. All right. Okay. Now, Anna, 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 and shake hands with somebody out there that's not in your family and say good morning. On your mark, get set, go. And then come back to the rug. Good morning. Good morning. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Everybody find a seat? 
How does it feel? Did you get it? Did you shake some hands? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me ask you a question. How does it feel? How does it feel to be chosen? Good. It feels good? good. Does it feel anything else? Do you have any other feelings that happen when somebody chooses you? Sometimes is it a little bit scary? Yeah. yeah. You don't know what's coming. Yeah. It does feel good to be chosen. In our scripture today, there were apostles. How many apostles did we have? No. Disciples. Disciples. Also 12 disciples. And there was a problem in the church, and then the 12 disciples had to choose, had to solve the problem. And so they said, you choose seven other people and have them come to us, and we'll solve this problem together. It wasn't just one person doing something. It wasn't just 12 people doing something. It was more people than that. It took more than the leaders. It took more than just a couple people, it took a lot of people to make sure that the problem was solved. What do you think that tells us about our church? What does that say about us as a church? Can it just be the preacher who does stuff? No. Nope. Can it just be the committees who do things? No. Who is it that has to do things? everybody together because guess what you all have a gift you all have been given something special by god that you can share with everybody out there and everybody out there we can share our gifts with the whole world and we can do that because we know god's got the whole world in his hands he's got you and you and you and you and me and everybody in his hands and so we're never in the job alone yeah, it's like, boom. it's an amazing thing to remember that God holds us in his hands and he gives us the power to do good things. Can we do it all by ourselves? No, because no. No, sometimes we just run out of steam. We run out of energy and it can't happen. But when we say our prayers and we ask God to help us, that's a good thing. So when he says, I choose you, and I choose you, and you, and you, and you, and you. But what's the first thing we have to do? Say a prayer. Say, God, please help me to do this job that you've given me to do. Give me your strength. Give me your wisdom. Give me your courage. And then trust in him. Because he's got you in his hands, right? You're never alone. Okay. So, hands up high. Hands down low. Hold them in front, just like so. Father, we are so thankful that we belong to a church that understands that we are all given gifts, that there is something here for each and every one of us to do. We can't do everything, but we can do something. Help us to do something for you, something for our church, and something for the world. We ask you in Jesus' name, and all God's kids said, Amen, amen, amen. go on. Thank mm -hmm. you.